Hey guys, so today I have a Florida haul for you and this is all of the stuff I got from my trip in October 2016 and also in February and March 2017, the trip that I've just come back from. So I thought I would just put it all together in one video. I didn't do a haul from the October trip and a lot of you have asked to see the things that I got so I just thought I would put it all together in this one video. So I'm gonna get straight in with my favorite purchase of the trip when we were there in October, which is this guy. And I really wanted this bag for quite a while. I saw it back in April last year when I was there with my friend Kate and I kind of considered it, but it was about 80 something dollars, I think. It was around 80. So it was kind of expensive and I thought, mm, I'm gonna think about that. But when we were back in October, I still really wanted to get it and I had some birthday money, so I decided Decided to get him so he's an R2 um, style bag and he's obviously got the Star Wars bit there lots of nice detail and then this is the other side and it's actually a super sturdy bag it's made out of this kind of thick I want to say plastic stuff that sounds not great saying like plastic finish but it definitely is easy to keep clean and it's quite hard wearing because it's not fabric on the outside and then it's just got zips that go all the way down to each side so you can actually open the bag up really wide so yeah this was definitely my favorite purchase i absolutely love this bag and i got this from world of disney at disney springs so another thing we were on the lookout for on the October trip were some travel mugs. Ian and I both drink coffee in the mornings and we really wanted something just for if we are going somewhere early and we're on the go. So Ian picked out this one, unsurprisingly. You might have seen his t-shirt in this same design in some of the vlogs. And this one's just got the kind of slide across lid on the top and the seagull design from Nemo. This also came from World of Disney. And I picked out this one, which is a slightly different type. It's the ceramic mug with the rubbery lid, kind of like a takeout coffee cup if you go to Starbucks or somewhere like that. And it's just got the hole in the top for drinking out of. And this one actually keeps drinks hotter than this one does. But I really, really liked the design. Obviously, it's got the castle fireworks and says Walt Disney World on the back so I'm really glad I got this one but yeah that other design does hold the heat in your drink slightly better than this one so carrying on with the drink theme I've got going I also got this mug from Kennedy Space Center and it says I need my space on the front and we thought that was quite funny because I'm someone who hates like people being in my personal space too much and I do like my own company quite a lot so that just made us laugh um, with that and also it's got I'm not going to tip it too much because I actually am drinking out of this and I have my water in there but it's got a design on the inside you've got the space shuttle the moon and the vehicle assembly building so it's a really really cute design and yeah I obviously got this one from the gift shop at Kennedy Space Center so continuing with the drink theme I have another item and this isn't actually something we purchased we were there in October for the Food and Wine Festival at Epcot in 2016 and often at that festival if you attend a certain amount of times and you have an annual pass they will give you a free gift and last year it was this glass and it says Walt Disney World pass holder and then in the bottom I don't know how well you guys can see see that let me just see if I can angle it it's got food and wine festival 2016 so we actually got two of these because we both have an annual pass you often have to go and line up for it it's a very very popular um, gift every year so yeah you have to normally go to interventions or the festival center depending what's going on but yeah we got two of those which are really nice so I'm gonna move on to pins because I have quite a few of those so first up I have this 2016 pin and every time I go to Disney World I pick up a pin for that particular a year luckily they do more than one design because sometimes I've obviously been more than once in a year and this one is the Mickey and Minnie design and it's got Mickey in his Fantasia outfit there and I also like to collect pins for every resort that I've stayed at so this is Disney's Old Key West and that's just a little close-up there for you and also this one from Port Orleans French Quarter because we stayed there as well on that trip and this one is from the Food and Wine Festival. I also tried to get pins for any special events that are happening while we're on our trip. This one actually came as part of the package when you buy the lanyard for the Food and Wine Festival, where you get a certain amount of tokens to use at the booths around the World Showcase, and this actually came as part of that. So I didn't bother buying a separate Food and Wine pin because I had this one. It looks as if it opens up to something special, but it's just got the design behind and it's like a clear front 
that closes over and that's this Food and Wine Festival 2016. And also in October, I got this pin, which is Roz from Monsters Inc. I just really like this one. I love Monsters Inc. and I especially love Roz, so I had to pick that one up as well. And next to the pins that I got on the 2017 trip, which I've just got back from. So first up, I have the 2017 pin and this one is a mini design. And I did also pick up this one, which is a Grand Floridian pin. Now we didn't stay there on this trip, but we did stay there in October and I never got around to going to get the pin. So we went and got it this time. And I have to admit, this isn't my favorite pin ever, but it was the only Grand Floridian one they had. And I do like to collect all the resort pins. It's kind of a matte finish, which is just not my favorite. I don't think it's like overly exciting, but I still did want to get it. And finally, I've got this one, which is from the Flower and Garden Festival, and this is the annual pass holder special pin, and it's got pigment on there. Um, I think he's, yeah, trimming a topiary of Spatia Perth, which is super cute. And I didn't actually purchase this, but we always pick up the passport for the Food and Wine Festival or the Flower and Garden Festival, and this is the Flower and Garden Festival one. And basically, as you go around the food booths that they have during the festival, you can mark in here which items you've had, and they used to stamp it, but now they have these stickers inside, so you can just stick the sticker on and tick off the items you had. So I picked that up, and I'm also going back in May when the festival will still be on, so I'm gonna take this back with me because we'll probably try some more of the items on that trip. And I just have a couple of non-Disney items to show you. And these I got from Walmart. And I got them specifically for a video that I'm going to be doing over on my other channel. I'll link my other channel below for you. And these are from the Frozen Bean Company. And they're frozen drink mixes for you to make your own Starbucks style drinks at home. So I've got a mocha latte and French hazelnut latte. So I'm really looking forward to trying these. And as I say, I'll do you a video on it. So as soon as that video is up, I will link it below. And I'll also just link my channel below as well so you can check that out if you want to and we also went to Joanne's and for those of you who don't know what that is it's a big craft and fabric store and it's absolutely amazing in there if you like crafting definitely go because it's so amazing and I did buy some fabric for some items that my mum is making for me she is amazing at sewing so I've got some really cute things obviously I'll show you them when they're done I can't show you the fabric because I've already given it to her to um, get started on the stuff that she's making so I haven't got that but I did buy a couple of washi tapes while I was there if you don't know I'm really into my Erin Condren planner and all kinds of stationery I'm basically obsessed again you can check out my other channel for things like that but I did get this really cute happy birthday washi tape just to use that to mark people's birthdays in my planner and I also got this one which I'm super super excited about it's two different tapes you've got the cloud one and the grass and I've wanted that grass washi for the longest time you can't buy it in the UK anywhere it seems you can buy it on Etsy but it's super super expensive but I managed to find it in Joanne's and it was like two bucks so I was so so pleased that I finally managed to get that and the final thing I got was a lot of items from Sephora. I do have quite a lot of stuff in here, and I know that people who watch my Disney channel are not necessarily interested in makeup, but I am doing a separate haul on these items over on my other channel. For those of you who do want to see what's in here, check out my other channel. I'll link the video below, and you can have a look at that as well. So that is everything for my Disney haul. I hope you guys enjoyed having a look at what I got. As you can see, I was fairly restrained. It's really, really difficult when you go on a Disney trip. There's so many things you want to buy but because I do try and go fairly regularly I try not to buy too much while I'm there because obviously I need to save up for the actual trip itself so over the years I have got better at not buying too many expensive souvenirs but I do I like my pins I like to buy the odd thing like the bag that I got so I try to be a little bit careful but I just thought you guys would want to see what I got so thank you so much for watching if you're not already subscribed you can hit the subscribe button below and the little bell icon that's next to it if you click that it makes sure that you get notifications for all my videos that come out so click that one as well and I'll also link all my social media below as well as some links to other videos I think you might enjoy thank you guys again so much for watching I hope you're having a great day and I will see you in the next video bye